So this is number eight of the second test. Which of the following fractions is equivalent to negative six minus a minus nine over eight? So let's rewrite this and let's take it apart. Now, so we start off with the numerator has negative six minus a minus nine over eight. Now, negatives and positive numbers, I like to put it back to money. And when I see a negative um, value, like negative six, that means I owe somebody some money. This means I owe somebody six dollars. So let's say I owed you six dollars. And then I have here, I say another negative and I say, oh, that means I'm going to take on some more debt. But this is where they trick you. I'm doing a negative of a negative. So let's think about that for a second. So we have this debt of $6. We owe somebody $6. And then the opposite of a negative is a positive. So if we turn this negative into a positive, this is the same thing saying is that, well, I want to do the opposite of borrowing money. So I'm paying somebody back. So a negative and a negative turn into a positive. So if I loaned you if, I'm sorry, if you loaned me $6, but I paid you back $9, that's more. So we're at a positive now. And then the eight stays the same. So let's think about what we did here. We did the negative of the negative, which gave us a positive. So this number, obviously, is I paid you back too much money. So I borrowed six but I paid you back nine. And if you're honest, you would say, hey, you gave me too much money and you would give me back three. So let me say that again. If I borrow six and pay you back nine, I overpaid three. So I get back three dollars, which is a positive. So I still have three dollars in my pocket. I don't owe you any more money. So it's not a negative. OK, so let's say that again. A negative in front of a negative turns it into a positive. So that's the trick for this question. And it's not a trick. It's just understanding values, positive and negative signs. Here we have two negatives in a row, which turns these two into a positive. So hopefully we'll find this here. And we sure did. We find this as letter B, which is our correct answer.